Hi guys, welcome back to part 2. If you haven't watched part 1, do check that out. So what we are going to do in part 2, the same melody which I talked about earlier with all those ornamentations, we did over the simpler chords, which is... Okay, with that melody. Then we ornamented the melody, we added a lot of the embellishments and ghost notes and slides and runs and fillers and whatnot. What we are going to do in this part is exclusively focus on the left hand. It may help if you can read sheet music because all of this has been notated. So do consider heading over to Patreon, getting the PDF with MIDI if you need and the Muse score file. The first left hand pattern which I have for you represents folk music very well. It's what I call as the thresio. Okay, so I'll just play you the thresio rhythm. And I've done a lot of other thresio videos, but that's more for the Latin stuff and the funky stuff. This is more for the folk stuff, which will go over that tune. That's the thresio. So good way to think of this could be one to three, one to three, one to one to three, one to three, one to one to three, one to three. Tuck it, 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 tuck it. Now. That's the tune. Keep the. Sometimes it helps to just play a shaker and sing. Try doing this. So it helps to use a shaker and maybe play it in a 16th note environment and uh, yeah, move forward from there. Fine. So... Getting that vibe this is the first variation, Tresio. Whenever the chord has more time, I tend to also cover the octave A. Not ting ting ting, which you could also do by the way, but uh, in the notation also I've developed Let's slowly start that Now You may want to consider metronome if you are good with it. If not, just go by the feel of your body. If you are comfortable with this, you are playing it well. So, melody. This will really train your independence as well as sound quite folks. Sometimes, at the time of getting it, I try to close my eyes. It gives me more focus. So, because remember, you're trying to isolate your brain or you're trying to split your brain, even though I don't think that's possible. You're trying to forget about this stuff. In fact, as I'm teaching this lesson, I am trying to forget about this stuff by talking to you, right? And not mess up. Independence is a really weird thing, right? You have to just feel it and let it organically come to you. Like for example, I'm able to talk to you right now, but if you ask me to write even a word on a piece of paper, I don't have that skill. But I can talk and play this melody. So that's how we need to do it. We need to practice. Okay, 
get in some of the ornamentations simple version now the left hand can also get a bit exciting when you combine the tresio with a simpler straight old eighth note arpeggio something like pam 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 so i like that contrast tang 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 tan 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 straight tresio straight a a a tum 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 pum 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 tum 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 more and more folk like i guess tum tum pum 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 pe tum tum pum 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 tum tum tan te re dum pum pum pa de re de ma no again pom pom that's the tresio meets normal as i've called it so the normal is like what we learned in the first part where we just did normal quavers again that's tresio that's combining with normal try that out okay that's tresio means meets normal as i call it now the next style of arpeggios is what i call as accented arpeggios so that will group it in an irregular way what we've been doing with the normal version was 4 plus 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 so with the accented one what i'm doing is let me play it for you i'm going 1 2 3 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 1 2 3 4 5 is still equal to 8 earlier we did 4 plus 4 equals to 8 now it's 3 plus 5 so that makes it very interesting for the listener very common in folk music so tum 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 tere tum tum check out that bass tum ta tum 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 now next chord tum 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 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 so tum ta re re the dum dum pam pam i like that tang 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 tun 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 tum tun tun tum pam 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 so tum te tum tun tan ta re dum 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 ten tum pa te tum f sharp minor tum 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 tun tum pam 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 pe re tum tun you have to kind of tell your pinky finger to remember to hit it at 3 plus 5 right tum tun tum pam 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 te re tum ट्यूनली विद्यून going to be perfect initially you have to practice but this is the accented arpeggios as i've called it very common in folk music 1 2 3 1 2 3 4 5 slowly got that 
pinky is at one and the next one ne- at the four one two three one at the four one two three four five six seven eight So I've taken this uh, accented style and added in some 16th note flair and this is how it sounds It's still accented but tum tik tin tum 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 te re tum tik tin very much like a banjo player or a mandolin player or well a string player a lot of string players do this tum tik tin tum pum 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 tum tik tum finger style guitar that's the groove so if you get that into your head i think the arpeggio will come to life pom 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 Now we have to somehow get that melody amidst all this chaos. Try it with a click whenever you in your own time. adds that vibe to the accented arpeggio i call this like the bluegrass arpeggio or maybe you can call it the hillbilly arpeggio or something whatever you want give it give each arpeggio a name keep that groove going i have one more left for you guys that's what i call as the baila arpeggio similar to the style baila we have so a lot more eastern So it's like ding, da da ding, ding da da ding, da da ding. Always imagine a drum, like beatbox a drum groove and then play it. It's folk music. It has to be done organically. That's all I can say. Yes, there is notation for all of this available, but the end result has to be organic. You have to do it for a purpose. And a lot of this is to make people dance. So you have to also kind of inherently feel like dancing. You have to feel the groove go inside you and. then come out to the listener otherwise they are not going to dance people who want to hear music and enjoy music they want to sing they want to dance and they want to feel something they don't care about all this complexity you have to throw all this away when you perform it for them and to do that practice 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 coming back to baila move Now melody. Boom boom. There we go. The good thing about this organic environment of allowing your body to naturally move to the music. is when you make a mistake it's going to be very difficult for you to not know that you made a mistake your whole you'll feel like something is you know self destructed there's some serious problem which happened so get in in put in your 100% into the playing 
and even if you're playing slowly even if you're playing one bar or one half of the tune or a simpler version put your 100% into it when you play never play the piano in a lukewarm or cold environment it has to be piping hot when you play there has to be that aggression and that energy you give the piano otherwise it will not give you anything okay um maybe this can be a plan for a future lesson i don't know but maybe you can do arpeggios with triplets in this whole series even though it was quite long we didn't really explore triplets so just to give you a prelude of something which is to come and if you are interested in this stuff first of all thanks a ton for watching the parts and the video this long it means a lot and it it really encourages people like me to keep going and it motivates a lot to read your comments and your viewership definitely means a lot keep the comments coming and uh, you should also consider sending recordings whenever you've done a recording of this send it to our instagram either my personal one or the the school one and we'll be happy to go through it and share it and enjoy it of course okay so if you take this with triplets dig it dig it dig it dig it tuck it tuck it the whole environment changes right <laughs> That's a common triplet vibe which you will find very much in India. Every part of India has that groove. You see, I've changed it completely into like an Indian folk song. so motivated to change the melody because it just feels good with definitely more on this maybe in another video i'll probably compose something else leave me a comment if you'd like to learn some triplet arpeggios or indian style arpeggios give me a few references as well and we can come up with something cool Thanks again for watching this two part series. We've done a lot actually. We've done that melody which is going on and on then we ornamented the melody in part 1. We added a lot of embellishments, licks, fillers. Then our left hand was holding fourth by doing the normal arpeggio. Then we did a lot of other variations, the uh, accented variations, the tresio, the tresio meets normal. Then we did um, the bluegrass arpeggio style. We did the baila style, and uh, yeah, quite a bit. So I hope you have fun with the lesson. I hope you have fun for I don't know how long you're going to take with the lesson, but whatever it is, I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you will incorporate it in your practice journey. Cheers! Thanks for watching, and catch you in the next one.